What's up everyone, I'm Kelly Hart, and today I'm gonna to show you my board setup. Nailed it, first try, nailed it. I've been, I've been skating this board, this exact shape for maybe nine years straight now. This is a Visit Skateboards Kelly Hart board. This is the monogram board. Shout out to Ryan Gallant. This is a 7.875. I know it's very specific, but I just really like this shape. I initially got it because it was an old girl shape. And when I wrote for Expedition back in the days, I would always get these girl boards, this one shape, and I would just sticker them up with Expedition stickers. But for some reason, everything just clicked on that board for me. And it kind of changed my life, to be honest. Everything kind of just, tray flips work, hard flips work. All the tricks that I really like to do just seemed easier. I started learning newer tricks, like nollie flip back tails and stuff like that. So I kind of just stuck with it. And if something works for me, I just I just keep it the same. So on the same amount of time, maybe like 10 years, I've been skating Thunder trucks. These are the 147 highs. And these are just a plain one. They're not hollow kingpin or anything like that. Just the regular standard solid Thunder trucks. I used to skate Ventures growing up. I remember going to the, the barracks one day and I saw Shane O'Neill there. And Shane, Shane O'Neill was like, hey dude, you should try the 147 highs. I think you'll like them a little more. And I was like, really? He's like, yeah, it gives you a little more leverage. It's still low to the ground. So it's basically riding like a medium sized truck. Like the venture lows were too low to the ground because I needed more leverage to pop. And then like the highs were way too tall for me. And these thunders are like right in the middle. They're right in the middle. And the one thing I do mostly actually, which I don't, I did not do on this one yet because I couldn't find any, but uh, on the nuts on the side, I usually put silver ones in there because I don't know why the, the silver in it makes me feel like the board's more like springy. And I don't know, that's just my head being crazy. One thing I do like to do is I like to put the medium bones bushings in these. I switch them out quite often. I like the way they feel right when you put them in, but I put the top washer on. It comes with like little washers in it. And I'm like, no, nah, I just like this is what I, the way I've done it. And I just stick to that way. I don't know, whatever works for me. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know the science. If, it, if I try it and it works, I just leave it. So I pretty much set up the same board every single try. The last time I rode stock bushings was, I couldn't even tell you. Like probably when I started skating Thunders like nine, 10 years ago. And then I found, and then I started just implementing these and I just like that. Also, I like switching my trucks a lot too. Cause for some reason I feel like the kingpin gets loose or the pivot cup gets a little loose too. And it just feels more springy when I have newer trucks with the, with the bones bushings in it, it just feels better. I feel like I get a solid snap. It sounds really good. If I could hear something and my board doesn't sound right, I kind of know where to go and it's usually my trucks. But I'm also insane. Everyone has their own little crazy things and if, like I go through a lot of board madness or I did at one point until I found what I liked and I just stick to it. Cause I'm not, I'm not going, I don't wish anyone to go through that. So I'm telling you just find what you like and stick to it. I used to ride my board backwards too my whole life until I was about 27. And then one day I just switched it back around and skate normal like everyone else does. I don't know why I did that. These are really good wheels right here. They're the uh, Richter Speed Rings. They're 51 millimeter. I still like skating small wheels. Uh, I could, if I could skate 50, that would be awesome too. These are 99A. I usually skate my wheels like with the graphic in. As you can tell, they're like facing in this ones. I don't know why, it's just, yeah, like I kind of like the same feeling when you look at your wheel and it's, and it's just white or just one solid color or something like that, you know? Even though there's a little speed ring right there. Yeah, these speed rings, it's interesting technology because there's like, you know, there's been a lot of core wheels out there. So like core and like the urethane around it. What it is, is like there's urethane underneath the, that core right there, that ring. So it makes it feel like it's a regular, just like solid wheel with just urethane but it gives it a little more support. It lasts for a long time. It sounds just like a regular wheel. And to be honest, these sound snappier. I was skating downtown, the flat ground spot, and my friends were tripping how snappy my board sounded. And I was riding these ones right here, right here. That's pretty damn good right there. Sounds good too. It's the only reason why I can do 360 flips because of that. I don't know how to do it other than that. If I didn't do that, couldn't do it. I ride slim. Wheels, I like it more on the slim side. It's kind of like the, what I grew up skateboarding. I kind of like, I stayed around the same style of board my whole life. It's like small, thin wheels, white wheels usually. I ride on delay a Swiss bearings. Thanks, Joey Brzezinski. I got the diamond seven eighths bolts on here. Classic for, you know, this style board. I ride mob grip tape. It's a little scuffed up, but you know what? To me, it's the best in the game and 
It's the grippiest. Sticker job. You know, you just got to represent your brands. Nine Club, right underneath my name. Got to love that. Got Mob Grip here. Got the Richter one. Since I can remember, like, even being on S way back to now, I would always put a S sticker on my nose. It just kind of brings you back to, like, being a kid growing up. And, like, I'm super into doing stuff like that still on the... Uh, the grip tape, I sometimes will do a full sheet like this, or sometimes I'll do the four, I'll cut it up in fours, so the lines going across, which is actually super cool. Reminds me of seeing all my favorite pros doing it back in the day. If I don't have the lines in it, I usually put the gold bolt on the top right. It's always the top right, because that's basically like, I can kind of sense, A, kick flipping wise, where I want to put my feet, and also, like, I don't have to look at the, I can just easily know immediately where my nose is. One thing I did notice, though, when you do the bolts, when you screw them in, if you tighten it from the bottom where the nut is, it won't make the, like, it won't indent the grip tape. Shout out to Jason Rothmeyer, he told me that. I would do it that all the time, and then all of a sudden I realized, like, oh, it looks so much better because it's aligned perfectly with the grip tape. Seems really, uh, Minimal like it would be minimal like it wouldn't ma matter, but when you're skating it, it, it you can you can notice stuff like that so It's a little a little dirty, but you know, it's mob it stays good forever Yep, and uh, that's my board setup